Alright, so we're one down. Yeah, I know Japan was part of the end of year tour, but let's face it, it wasn't really a game, was it? It was the exhibition. So, the end of year tour began with this game against France, and France brought it because they respect All Black Rugby. And they lift their performance for All Black Rugby. And generally they lose unless it's in a World Cup, but this is just the end of year tour. So I was pretty happy with that performance by the All Blacks. Uh, I like the way that Steve Hansen doesn't stuff around with his team. I don't think he will stuff around with his team for the next game because the next game against England is the big one. Now, based on the fact that we were sick last time, I, you would expect the All Blacks to pants England. But it's not the case because England's looking very good and we all know that England is going to win the next World Cup. Well, so far they've done pretty well. I mean, that was an important win against the French uh, over the weekend and uh, it was a close run thing. They only got home there in the end by one try and it was a good workout for the, the All Blacks. It was probably the toughest match they've had this year and I think if you look at the scoreline, I think it was probably the closest scoreline that the All Blacks have had from their 12 victories to date. Um, and uh, okay, there's a few things they have to work on there, but now their attention turns to England and there really is a lot riding on this match. It might be a friendly, but uh, there's uh, the revenge factor first of all for the All Blacks because they got beaten by England last year. Uh, the English are talking themselves up, they had a big win over Argentina over the weekend and they know if they beat the All Blacks again this year, score four tries in the process, they jump to number two in the world. Uh, so it might be a friendly, but there's a real edge about this match and the All Blacks, by the sound of it, can't wait to get to Twickenham and I think it could be it could be after that South Africa match a couple of weeks ago, the next best test match the All Blacks have played this year. End of year two hasn't been too bad actually, I thought the game against France uh, was very good, I thought there was a good contest in that and it came down to the end of the game, which was good. I honestly thought at 26-12 the All Blacks were going to go away and win that game as they so often do, but the fact that the French hung in there, it gave us a contest up until the last play, was very good. England's just come off a big win, they've had a couple of good wins at home, I think this is going to be the game uh, for the tour. I look forward to seeing it on Sunday morning, but I think at this point of time, probably just back the All Blacks even on the road again, but there's still work to be done. Well, the Northern Hemisphere Tour kind of started over the weekend. Didn't really start against Japan because it was just a glorified training run on a sponsor's day for OIG, let's face it. So they really got underway uh, in Paris. And I don't believe the complainers that are coming out of the woodwork, having a go at the All Blacks, and they missed this tackle and they, they got this wrong and they dropped that part. They, got, they won. They beat a really fired up French team in Paris, in their backyard, who played some terrific rugby. And we didn't have enough ball and we missed the most tackles. We didn't have all the breakdowns. But I think we lost in every facet of the game except the most important. But at the end, we won 26 19. And that French test is going to harden up some of those guys who had the break during the Japanese test, if you will, up against England. They've got long memories. You go back a year to when they managed to spoil our party, and I'm sure they want to thump the English peril. Just to make sure they know it was a number league last time, not this time. It's the Irish after that. Yeah, thinking about the Irish after that.